Metcalfe's law is a concept used in computer networks and telecommunications to represent the value of a network. It states that the value of a telecommunications network is proportional to the square of the number of connected users of the system, n square. First formulated by Robert Metcalfe in regard to Ethernet in 1980, Metcalfe's law explains many of the network effects of communication technologies and networks such as the Internet and World Wide Web. Metcalfe's law is related to the fact that the number of unique possible connections in a network of n nodes can be expressed mathematically as n into n minus 1 divided by 2. Since a user cannot connect to itself, the actual calculation is the number of diagonals and sides in an n-sided polygon, which is n into n minus 1 by 2 asymptotically proportional to n squared. Take the example of a fax machine. A single fax machine is useless. However, the value of every fax machine increases with the total number of fax machines in the network because of the total number of people with whom you may send and receive documents increases. According to the law, the value of a network provides both additional value and a competitive advantage. For example, eBay may or may not have had the best auction website, but they clearly had the most users. Because this is so difficult to replicate, the power of the network drove out other competitions. Likewise, in social networks, the greater number of users with the service, the more valuable the service becomes to the community. Metcalfe's law has many practical applications apart from telecommunication devices and social networks. It can be applied to any computer system that exchanges data like telephones, fax, operating systems, applications, social networking websites, etc. It also predicts whether a single vendor will dominate the marketplace. It is also applicable in personal genome sequencing. As more human genomes are sequenced and tied to personal health information in an interconnected system, the value of the information that a personal genome can contribute to personal health grows. It is difficult to quantify the value of the network, the mathematical justification for Metcalfe's law measures only the potential number of contacts, that is, the technological side of the network. However, the social utility of a network depends on the number of nodes in contact. If there are language barriers or other reasons why large parts of a network are not in contact with other parts, then the effect may be smaller. Metcalfe's law assumes that the value of each node n is of equal benefit which might not always be the case. In July 2013, Dutch researchers managed to analyze European internet usage patterns over a long enough time and found n2 proportionality for small values of n and n log n proportionality for large values of n. Metcalfe himself provided further proof as he used Facebook's data over the past 10 years to show a good fit for Metcalfe's law. In 2015, Zhang, Lu, and Xu extended Metcalfe's results utilizing data from Tencent, China's largest social network company, and Facebook. Their work showed that Metcalfe's law held for both. Despite the difference in audience between the two sites, Facebook serving a worldwide audience and Tencent serving only Chinese users, in 2018, Peterson applied Metcalfe's law to the cryptocurrency Bitcoin and showed that Metcalfe's law determined over 70% of Bitcoin's value. Over time, Metcalfe's law has been linked with the substantial growth of the Internet. It explains the rapid growth of the Internet industry. Thus, this was an important foundation laid in the sector of information technology. That was all for this video. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified. Check out our channel for more interesting content.